Welcome back to another inspirational segment here on the Destiny Page channel. Thank you for tuning in. Now, today I want to talk with you about um, the power of faith. And I want to share with you also a testimony of mine, a personal testimony that um, will confirm about the power of faith and how God comes through for his people. But I want to first uh, ask you to go to the book of uh, Mark, chap uh, Mark chapter 11, and uh, look at verses 22 to 24. So that, uh, that passage uh, talks about having faith in God. And even if you have faith as a mustard seed, you can command things to be moved and they must be moved uh, to where you command them by the power of faith. And that is having faith in God and also making sure that when you pray, you forgive others of their sins so that you also can be forgiven. So when you go to God in prayer, you want to have your sins forgiven to be able to have access to the full power of the living God. And earlier in that chapter of Mark 11, you will see where God uh, commanded the fig tree to never bear fruit again. And um, he did that in front of his disciples. And you will see as you read that chapter how the, by commanding it to, to be as God, as Christ himself commanded it to be, it was done. And so there are uh, times when there are certain things that might be blocking or prayers and um, mainly faith as he has told his disciples. So remember that you must trust God with all that you have in you because the Bible also told, uh, tells us that without faith we cannot please God. So let me go ahead and share with you a personal testimony of mine. Now there was a time when I was unemployed it was more than once. I do have a second um, testimony that I will share with you, hopefully next week. And uh, it is far more powerful, I believe, than this one that I'm going to be share, sharing with you today. So there was this time when I was in need of a job and I felt like enough was enough. And I decided to cry out to God because I, I remembered who I am. And I am a child of the living God. I am someone who serves God. And I do the best that I can to be faithful to his commandments and to live according to his will. Now, I realize that as a child of God, there is a God that I serve, a big God that I serve, a powerful God, and a God that is able to do more for me than I can even ask, and a God that will not withhold anything good from his children, from those who love him. And the Word of God tells us that. So I decided to go to this faithful God, the same God of Moses, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaiah, the God of Daniel, and Elijah and Elisha those powerful men of God who over and over had their prayers answered by God in their favor. And so as a believer, as a woman of faith, I decided to turn to my God and have my God do something about that situation. So as I was, um, as I decided uh, one day to get down on my knees, take some time out to cry out to God, and I prayed and I prayed and I stayed in prayer for quite quite a while, at least an hour or so I was on my knees. Then after the prayer was over, I was, remember, I was crying out for a job. And that was on a Sunday. Now, after that prayer was over, I got up and I sat down with the Bible in my hand and I kept on reading the Word of God. And within about 20 minutes after that, after that prayer, the phone rang. And it was an employer giving me a call, uh, a place I had submitted my resume over three months ago, over three months prior to the time when I 
got on my knees and got into very serious prayer. Now, that call was from an employer calling me, inviting me to come in the following day for an interview. Clearly, God intervened. Now, I thank the Lord and I trusted in him that that job was going to be given to me. So I went in for that interview and I sat in that interview. At the end of the interview, I was asked, how soon would I be able to start the job? And I told that interviewer, that employer, that I would be able to start that job that very day, that very moment, if he would let me. And so he agreed to take me up on my offer and he gave me that job that very same day I started and um, he had someone start training me immediately. And um, from that point on, um, the Lord has continued to bless me. Now, hear the interesting thing that occurred. Now, not everyone who does something good for you, who does a good deed for you, is necessarily someone who likes you. Now, sometimes people are compelled by God to do a favor for a child of God. Because after all, God is the God of this universe and he has all power and authority. If you are going through a similar situation, I encourage you to cry out to your God, to the God of Abraham, the God of Moses, and see him come through for you. Now, as I stayed on that job, not very long after I was hired, that same employer who had hired me, that same boss, turned against me viciously, and he started treating me poorly. He was always and constantly on my case. And he was severely, tremendously mean to me. Now, I continued on the job. And I talked to God briefly about the situation a couple of times. Nothing changed. Then one day I decided I was on my way to work. And I decided I stopped just before I went out the door. And I stood there and I said, Lord, I am on my way to work again this day. And that employer is going to be there, that boss. And I have had enough of him. And I know that you gave me this job. So you put me in that workplace and I have had enough of him. When I arrived at work that the same very day, the assistant manager called us for a meeting and he said, I have some news for you, all of us. And he told us that that same man that I prayed about that morning and asked God to move him out of my way, he was going to be leaving within a few weeks. Now, isn't that incredible? So later on that day, I said, you know, I need to hear the story behind this. So I said to the assistant manager, what made him decide to leave? And she said, well, he had been here long enough, so I encouraged him. I had been encouraging him to, to go, suggesting him, to him to try other areas, to try another field of work, to try something else. And so he has finally, he has actually decided now that he is going to go and he will go within a couple of weeks. Now, I think it was four, not even a couple, but four weeks actually. Now, the time, I look forward to that day coming and indeed that day finally came. And to tell you how much he knew that he was terrorizing my life. He actually said on the day of his departure, he stopped and looked at me and he said this to me. He actually 
stuck his head out of the elevator and called me by name and said, your terror is over. And guess what I responded and said? I said, thank you for the job. Those were my only words to him. And I carried on working. Now I stayed there to until um, I um, felt that I had served my time there and uh, the Lord blessed me to move into a greater opportunity. And so I wanted to share that with you and remember to stay tuned for next week's a second testimony of um, an even more powerful, uh, incredible story of how God came through for me after I had prayed to him and called out to him and, and um, he answered that prayer even faster. It, it, this is something you don't want to miss next week's episode with the power of faith and when we believe in our God, the God of Moses, the God of Abraham, and when we trust him to come through for us and we trust also his ability, knowing that he's able and that he's a good God and he will not withhold anything good from us. There's not there's nothing too good for you if you're a child of God, for, for the God himself, for God himself to give to you. So take that lesson and remember that when you see tribulation comes in your life and you see that there is uh, there are things happening in your life that shouldn't be when you serve a mighty God, take control of that situation. Get down on your knees and cry out to the God of heaven, the God, the, al the almighty God. And as some people say, the almighty God, the, uh, the all-knowing, the all-powerful God. The Bible tells us that with God, with man, it may be impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So trust in him, believe in him, and in your situations, don't sit there and wither up and die and, and uh, like you don't have a God. Turn to your God, trust in him, cry out to him, and don't stop until he comes through for you. Until next time, stay tuned and keep praying until God comes through for you. Cry out to him if you need to. Bye for now.